In this video, we're going to be replacing this HP MediaSmart server, which is an EX475. Uh, it's been upgraded to include this uh, external enclosure for additional drives. Um, as you can see, I've got like four drives here, then there's four drives here. All of this data is going to be copied over to a brand new server. Uh, this was a great server. It's 10 years old. It's going to be upgraded to a DS918 Plus uh, NAS, which will have four bays, expandable up to nine. Um, so I can't wait. Let's get started. guys um, the package has arrived for our server we're going to go ahead and open up and see what all is in it and right here's, it is a Synology disk station DS918 plus that's what we're going to be putting together and along with that Got uh, two eSATA cords. Hopefully, that'll assist us in the data transfer of our old disks. And this, you will like. Since the uh, ES918 has four bays, uh, I figure we go ahead and put in a 12 terabyte. Iron Wolf Seagate hard drive. So we're going to put this into the NAS and we might even do a memory upgrade at some point. But right now, let's take a look and see what this thing looks like. Alright, so let's go ahead and open it up. So there's the power cord. And here we have the power brick, some keys, a quick install guide. Ethernet cable, looks like two Ethernet cables. Some screws, I believe these are for like two and a half inch drives. Nice, go ahead and take this out of the way. And here, it's just more packing material. Aha! Now, what we were waiting for, oh, it's really light. I'm sure there's nothing else in here. I don't believe there is. All right, let's set it back over here. Alright, so here we have the power switch, uh, a USB 3.0 port, I believe. If I'm wrong, I will let you know. There's where the drives plug in. So make sure you slide it in properly. the side and here on the back we've got uh, the two Ethernet ports uh, the eSATA port I presume that's power looks like a USB port here let's go ahead and pull some of these bays out let's see where the memory goes I believe the memory from what I've read 
goes in here. Keep in mind, I've not done this before, so if I make a mistake or I tell you something wrong, my apology. Uh-huh. There's where the memory goes. Let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit. Okay, so if you're going to expand the memory, um, you want to do so by putting the RAM in here. You don't want to remove this one. Uh, if you do, it'll void your warranty, which... Uh, we don't want to do. Um, so we'll upgrade by using um, another 4 gigabyte card here. I've read online that uh, 16 gig works as well, so I don't know. We may try that. Who knows? Um, I don't want to avoid the warranty for sure, but another thing that the DS918 supports is two m.2 nvme ssds so basically what this will do is improve the caching performance um, from what i hear um, so basically you just take the memory card and install it there this little thing clips and you can upgrade that that's not something i'm going to be doing uh, in the near future as far as i know anyway uh, but it's a nice expansion option for later on Let's go ahead and take this hard drive, open it up, and install it into the faceplate, the drive bay. Take it out of this anti-static bag. So let's see how this thing fits in here. It's likely fit in here like this. And I think that should do it. Gently put this in since we're putting it in at an angle here. We don't want to drop it, and we certainly don't want it to fall into it. There we go. Looks like it's now installed. All right, now let's put the remaining face plates on. There's one, two, and three. Now we're ready to power it up. Okay, it's all powered on. Now let's uh, see if we can get into it. Now we want to connect up to the server. Now we're going to go to HTTP um, find.synology.com. That should find our server. And our server is found, so we're going to click connect. Now it's asking us to read this. All right, we've read the license agreement. And we click OK. All right, now it's time to set it up. So we click Setup. Install Disk Manager DSM. It's the operating system to run on the NAS. So we'll install now. Well, we've got a brand new disk, so that's fine. I understand all data on this disk will be removed. Click OK. And it's installing the disk manager software. It's going to take approximately 10 minutes. So I'm going to pause the video at this point and we'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> 
Okay, so now it's asking me to enter my credentials, my server name, username, password, confirm the password. Um, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera, and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay, after entering your credentials, we see DSM update and maintenance. Um, we'll go ahead and say... I'm going to tell it to notify me of DSM updates and let me install them manually. Um, that's fine, that's fine. Run smart tests to check the health of my hard drives periodically. Uh, enable bad sector warnings for drives. That sounds good to me. Alright, so now it's asking me to set up Quick Connect. It makes it easy to access your symbology without port forwarding. All right, once again, I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera, and then uh, we'll be back. Okay, so now I created the account, and everything should be set. Uh, now it's asking for device analytics. Need your help enabling us to improve your usage experience. Um, do you want to enable device analytics? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Okay, I'll just say okay. All right, um, now we're in. Uh, access all built-in and installed packages from the main menu. Uh, discover more applications at the package center. More settings are available in the control panel. DSML offers comprehensive articles. Nice. Systems good. Took a Take a look at the resource monitor. Let's take a look at disk. Alright, so while I look at the utilization, I want to see that it recognizes the entire 12 terabytes. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do now that we're in the box is go to file station and it says there's no shared folder available if you want to go to the shared folder page click OK so we'll hit OK and now it's wanting me to create a new volume so now we're going to create a new volume so we're going to click create uh, we'll create a SHR volume at this point, um, I think that's what I'm going to go with. I might be making a mistake here, but I think this one should suffice. Um, I only have one drive, so I can't set up RAID at this point. So we're going to go ahead and go with the SHR volume. Full storage, description. Um, Just call it volume one. All right, we'll hit next. It's showing 10.91 terabytes available. So we'll hit next. <clears throat> All data on the newly added hard disk will be erased. Are you sure you want to continue? We'll say OK. Uh, da -da, file sharing, snapshots, replications. We'll go with that. Usage volume, volume 1, disk 1, capacity, hit apply. OK, it looks like the uh, verification that the NAS is doing is running in the background, and we're able to create a share. So we're going to go ahead and click Create and we'll create a share call it videos and we'll assign it to our one and only volume and I don't want to hide it on my network I want to hide subfolders without users without permission this is for home use primarily so we're gonna let everybody on our network view it next I don't want to encrypt it. Hit next. 
uh, I went in set up a quota on it. So there we go. We'll hit apply. And we should have our share. Okay, so that's it for this video. We've gone through, we've unboxed the NAS, we've installed the hard drive, we took a quick tour of where the memory, uh, additional memory can be upgraded. We didn't upgrade it at this point, but we will soon. Uh, then we powered everything up. We went to find.synology.com and we set up the server. Um, so now at this point, it's more a matter of experimenting with the software, getting used to it, uh, getting things configured, and uh, there will be a follow-up video very soon. Uh, so be sure and click like, or if you want, there's a little bell button down there at the bottom. If you click that, you'll be notified when uh, there's any new video. So you might want to do that as well. So anyway, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>